Hey guys, welcome to my review for The Kingsman, The Secret Service. This one was directed by Matthew Vaughn, director of Kick-Ass and X-Men First Class. It stars Samuel L. Jackson, Colin Firth, Mark Strong, Taron Ter Edger Edgerton, I think that's his last name, and Michael Caine. So far, this is the story. The premise here is that a young pro here is that Colin Firth is his secret agent known as the Kingsman. One of and one mission in the Middle East though hit an accident causes his colleague to get killed. So he so he, you know, he's depressed, he goes to the family of the dead of his dead colleague and colleague and tells and, te and tells his son whenever and with this little chip that he gave to him saying, Hey whenever you need me there's a phone number in the back for back for a call. And so, so far, the child is now all grown up. He's kind of like a troublemaker of in the law. Stuck in the law, though. So he calls. So he calls the phone though, and Colin Firth busts him out though, and tells him that, hmm, you may have some potential. And so, so he takes him into this program where they train him to become a secret agent known as a Kingsman. All the while, the villainous plot of Richmond Valentine, played by Samuel L. Jackson, where he has a plot to plot that will wipe, momentarily, I think, wipe out most of mankind due to his believing of mankind being destructive. I was looking forward to this film, people, and it's it was number four on my top ten films I was looking forward to this year. And does it deliver? Yes. This is a very well done action film. The action sequences in here, uh, let me get down to my positives and my negatives. My positives here are this. The cast is spectacular. Colin Firth does a fantastic job as this new act as being this new action star where he is today. I heard he did 80% of his own stunts on set. And he kicked major ass in this movie. He was well his performance was spectacular. Samuel Jackson is great as the villain, though, with this weird lisp he has every time he talks. Also, um, also Michael Caine is Michael Caine. What do you expect? I think my, Mark Strong is great as, on this movie, also. Oh, people, guess what? This also features Mark Hamill, finally back on the big screen before Star Wars comes out. And so far, I'm happy. Hooray for Matthew Vaughn for bringing Mark Hamill back to the big screen. Now the lead kid is named actor named Taron uh, Edgerton. I don't, I don't know. He plays he plays the main character Eggsy in the movie. Maybe and I he I think he was fant he was fantastic in this role. I really dug him as Eggsy though. But however, I, I do feel like he may be overshadowed by Colin Firth's character and performance. But despite that, I think Mr. Uh, Taron Edgerton did fantastic in this role. Well, the action sequences are spectacularly well done and well shot. And this also brings up a big satire on how more spy movies are now taking a serious route, though. Well, which I thought was kind of funny, though. And let's just say, people, somewhere in along the lines with the second half, uh, somewhere in the second half and the third act, it goes insane. It goes nuts. I mean, there's this crazy shit happening everywhere. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to spoil anything, but let's just say you won't be going in there going, what the hell was that? I mean, there's some fun action sequences, well shot action sequences. The cinematography in this, cinematography in this is spectacularly well done. Now my negatives are um, I can't think of any. I just really I I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I I can't think of any negatives though. I think the only negative is that that Taron Edgerton may be foreshadowed by Colin, maybe overshadowed by Colin Firth's performance and character. So far, I really enjoyed Kingsman. I think it's a well-acted movie. It's got a spectacular cast. And that's fun action sequences. And 
a very interesting message on how social satire works nowadays with the media and how spy movies are getting dark for now in this serious tone. So, that's my review of Kingsman. I'll get back to you very shortly with Fifty Shades of Grey.